What's the biggest mistake that most guys make when they don't see the results they want? They try and do more. More sets, more reps, more weight, more exercises, more time in the gym, more time training, more, more, more. Strength gain stalled, add more weight. Muscle gain stalled, add more volume. Doing more is often the first thing guys will do in an attempt to compensate for a lack of results. It's also the worst thing you could possibly do when you aren't seeing results. Here's the real secret. When you work out and lift weights, you tear your muscles up, essentially weakening them temporarily. In order for them to strengthen and to grow, your muscles need to repair, recover, and heal. It's the only way for them to come back and grow bigger and stronger. Your body doesn't get stronger, build muscle, and become more resilient during your time in the gym. All these things can only occur during your recovery stages while you rest. The muscle growth cycle of tearing, repairing, recovering, and regrowing bigger and stronger can't happen if you're just continuously lengthening and repeating the muscle tearing process that takes place when you work out. The muscle growth cycle is a four-step formula, and it's never going to happen for you if you just keep repeating step one. Your rest is as equally important as your training. If you don't get adequate rest, your muscles will never have the time to repair and regrow bigger and stronger like you want them to. Instead, it's more likely that they'll shrivel up and shrink down smaller and weaker. You do not want that to happen under any circumstances. Take your rest as seriously as you take your training. Don't fail like most guys do by neglecting it. Just like there are important elements of your workouts, there are also important elements of recovery that must be optimized during your rest stages. Your three biggest factors are your sleep, your hydration, and your nutrition. First, your sleep. During your sleep is when your growth hormones are at their highest levels, so you want to make sure you get enough sleep, as well as make sure that the sleep you do get is quality sleep. That means eight hours of uninterrupted sleep per night, and having six to eight of those hours be actual nighttime hours. Meaning, for example, if sun rises at 6 a.m., then sleeping from 2 a.m. until 10 a.m. is eight total hours of sleep, but it's only four nighttime hours. Don't underestimate this one because sleeping at night is a huge deal. Second, always be well hydrated. This one's a given. It's the best stuff for you on earth. You want a minimum of two liters of water per day, and even more as you get bigger and become more active. Water is like oxygen to your body, and it's an essential nutrient. Getting dehydrated is one of the biggest detriments to your success. Don't let it happen. Always stay hydrated. Lastly, your nutrition. A key part of recovery requires getting in specific nutrients on top of just resting. For example, when you train, you lose electrolytes like salt, magnesium, potassium, and others through sweating. If you don't restore these electrolytes in your body, it can cause adverse effects such as dehydration. To get the most out of your nutrition for your recovery, your post-workout meals should be well balanced with complete proteins for protein synthesis, a mix of carbs to fuel your energy stores, veggies to get your important nutrients and vitamins in, because a multivitamin is not going to cut it, and a drink rich in electrolytes, especially if you're sweating a lot. Never forget that your body only builds muscle tissue when you are not weight training. You build muscle while you are resting and while you are sleeping, not while you are in the gym. If you train as hard as you can, but don't allow yourself the best rest that you can, it will be nearly impossible for you to build muscle. So work on hitting your recovery as hard as you hit your workouts. After all, now you know the secret. It's not more training, 
It's more rest that'll have you looking your best.